since it's Earthquaker Day and we're here on a Saturday, the factory isn't running a normal production schedule, obviously. I mean, everybody's out there partying, right? This is awesome. But we're very fortunate in that we have Corey Juba, who is the operations manager here. He's going to give us a guided tour. I love this, man. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to Earthquaker Day. All right. Thanks, Corey. Here you go, man. And I love this, too. The Company Ten Commandments. Yeah, these are the Ten Commandments that everyone must follow to bring our pedals into the world. Don't forget number seven. So this is our front stock area where we keep um, all of the main parts for the production floor. So here in these red bins um, are the blank circuit boards as they come to us. So these are panels of four. This is our main batch size for the most of the pedals now. And each bin that you see is its own pedal. We got Acapulco Golds here, Afterneath's Arpanoid Bit Commander. And what will happen is a builder will get the boards, be assigned a batch, bring it to their station, and at their station, they'll take uh, the corresponding build sheet and begin taking components right out of the, of the bins in front of them and dropping them into the corresponding location. So here, we're not actually doing any soldering, but as you can see, um, it's a fully populated board with wires and all. So we are now in the main production aisle where all of the boards get populated. So you can see all of these orange machines and all of the parts bins in front of them. So after a board's been completely populated, remember nothing's been soldered at this point. So once they're uh, done being populated, they'll go to this rack where they sit with loose components in, as you can see right here. So what will happen is we'll bring the boards over and they'll go get fluxed and then dipped into this molten solder bath. So everything gets soldered in one pass. We used to do everything by point to point, but what this allows us to do is still maintain doing things by hand, but uh, much more quickly and efficiently. So once they get dipped, they'll cool for a minute and then go through this uh, lead cutter and everything is uniformly chopped. So after a board's been completely populated and passed through all of the quality control, if it survives that far, it lands here. And this is rack one, and this is where all of the finished populated boards are that are ready for assembly. Welcome to Enclosure World. This is where we're uh, drilling out and manufacturing all of our enclosures. So the way the process works is that they come to us raw, much like this, with uh, no powder and no drills and no artwork. And you can see our logo into the back plate. So the first step in the process is to put them in these molds and CNC out all the holes. And we use this end mill here to uh, route out all of the holes efficiently and quickly. We're doing Palisades, and this is about a batch of 42 at a time. So welcome to Enclosure Alley. This is after they've been uh, drilled and they go out for powder, um, they come back here. Now powder coating is the only thing that we do uh, outside of the shop. So we'll send out an enclosure after it's been drilled and it comes back to us like this. After the enclosures have come back from powder, the final step is to print the artwork on them. And here's an example of a finished enclosure. This is the Avalanche Run. Now, since we're doing the printing here, we have total control over the color of the print or what artwork we're actually putting on the pedals. So it's fun to experiment and make custom versions from time to time. Here are some glow-in-the-dark afterneaths. So the next step of our production process is the assembly. And this is where the boards finally get paired with their enclosures. So here's an example of a blank seam machine enclosure and a finished board. And these are all of the components that make up the hardware for the actual pedals. So you got our uh, momentary stomp jacks here, in and out, our original stomp jack, and uh, bezels and nuts and bolts. And here is an, an example of some populated and assembled afterneaths. After the boards have been assembled, they're ready to be wired and tested. So they'll come here and we'll hook up about 10 pedals at a time and we'll apply the knobs and get them all lined up in a row and we'll individually test every single pedal right here and here. So we have our guitars, our amps, and we're playing every pedal before it leaves the shop. So after a pedal has passed through all of the various stages of production, quality control, and passed the audio test, they get to the baker's rack, the final rack in the, in the equation. And this is where they get serialized and into boxes and ready to ship. So here's an example of a night wire that's knobbed, assembled, and wired, and tested. And they'll sit on this rack here in small batches. And here, 
they'll get laid out, and this is where all of the boxing happens. So they'll get identified with a serial number, and we'll put in our trading cards and uh, catalogs and stickers and things, and they sit on this finished rack waiting to come to you.